Door all of your basura goes in. It's safe to put your hand here, but not like this. That would be bad. But you can put it like this, okay. But never like this. You can see the, um, look at the blade, you can see. It swings the food around the side, you see? Okay, and usually you put this in and it makes no noise. And then you can close it with this. This is called an insincorator. This is called an insincorator food waste grinder, or we call it an insincorator feedstock preparation device. By making all of your food waste, all your basura small, the bacteria can eat it really fast. And that's why you get gas one day later. So you put it in one night, by the morning you have gas. If you don't make it small, it will take many, many days for the bacteria to make the gas. If you don't have one of these, and most people will not, you can pound the food with water. You can grind it or leave it in the sun, and you can make your hands like this until you make it small. Any way that you can grind it or use a blender, you will increase the amount of gas you can get. Certainly, the insincorator is the best thing you can use because it makes it so fast. But any way that you can get the food waste, the basura, ground up, then you have it very fast. So grinding it makes a difference. We're going to each day take the basura ground up and pour it down there. There will be a, a basin here. And then we pour it down there and the fertilizer will come out the other side and the gas will go to the kitchen. What the gas will do, the gas comes in here, it goes through the filter, just like we saw in the other one, to get out the sulfur. There is a lamp here. You know these type of Coleman lamps. This will light with an electric lighter. And it will light and you'll have light without using electricity. And you can make many of these lamps. There's a gas gauge here. This tells you how much gas you're using. And then it goes to the stove and the rice cooker. Let me wash my hands. Okay. The rice cooker has a gas burner, and then you just put your water in here, and your rice in here, and you can cook the rice. So the rice cooker works on gas, this works on gas, and you may wonder what's the difference between this stove and this stove. When you have a normal stove using the bottle of gas, the bottle is under high pressure. So, there is a regulator here to keep the pressure down, otherwise it would go right? So you have a regulator with a dial. And then in the stove, stove here, you notice there's little holes, and there's a tiny pinhole back in here. That is to keep the gas from exploding. This gas is not under pressure. So if you want to use this stove with this gas, you take this out, and you drill a hole to make it bigger. It should be as big as you can make it. And then, this stove will work like this stove. All they did for this stove is they made the hole bigger. That's all. But if you try to use the biogas with this stove directly, it will not work because the pinhole is too tiny. So you have to make it just a little bigger to let more gas in. And otherwise, let me just take this out a second. If I took this and went like this, this would work. I could use it. 
But they have that tiny pin before this, and it doesn't let the gas through unless it's coming from a high pressure bottle. So what I'm saying is just make the hole in here large enough for the gas to get in. And of course it will work. It's low pressure gas, but it will work. We only got this from China because we didn't want to spend the time to drill the hole. But it would definitely work to use one of these. So those are the basic ideas. Are there any questions? Interview. Interview. Any questions at all?